This is part two of a two-part Infusionsoft appointment court tutorial where uh, we're reviewing exactly how to uh, have someone fill out a contact us form, send them an invitation to uh, schedule time on my calendar, and then um, all the follow-through that goes into scheduling the call and getting the call uh, put on their uh, calendar. So um, step one is that we fill out the form which means that there is an Infusionsoft user or U Infusionsoft contact already in our database. Uh, that triggers this invitation to go out. So we come up and we send out an email and the email, um, here's the copy, but the key is uh, you can click here to see which time works best on the calendar. Uh, well, I'm going to go over here into the Appointment Core configuration screen and as you can see this is uh, my calendar. The way this works is when you configure it you come up and you um, set up a connection to Infusionsoft uh, and there's also a, uh, an extension to work with Google Calendar. Um, they can work with your go-to meeting if you like as well. Um, once I have that set up I have here my calendar um, you know, this is just for viewing, just to confirm what's there. But now we have these booking links. Um, so I have this link here, and it's called Review Project Needs. We're scheduling 30-minute calls with people. Uh, the beginning here, you put a name, you, you give a description, and there's custom meeting instructions. Um, we make a phone call to the person because we have their phone number, but it also gives you um, the option of setting up a meeting address if it's an in-person meeting, of requesting a phone call. Um, you know, and a couple of other things. Uh, I'm just setting this to custom meeting instructions because we're not using it. Um, you can set this up so that more than one person can attend either as required or optional on um, the on our side. And then we go to the next one. This page here allows us to set the meeting duration. So I've set this up for 30 minutes. Uh, I want to schedule things two days in advance because I don't want people just being thrown on my calendar later today or tomorrow. That way I have a chance to prepare. Uh, you have the option to make yourself look pretty busy. Uh, so you, in, in our case, I don't want to schedule more than one call per day. Um, it, it helps me, first of all, not look so busy, but it also enables me to, um, to not get overwhelmed with too many calls at the right time at one time. Uh, and, and this matches the pace at which I get people filling out my contact us form. So uh, we will allow them to schedule and cancel. Uh, we'll go into that at another time. And then uh, the number attendees per slot is only one. Now, um, because it's my preference, I only allow people to schedule time in my calendar in the afternoon. In the morning is when I do a lot of my work and it's also where I interact with my team. So I've just, you know, scheduled potential calls during that period of time. So the next step, and here's where the integration with Infusionsoft happens, um, is uh, so gather information. Now there's two options here. One is I can allow them to fill out a form, which means you know you can have required fields, first name, last name, email, phone number, address, uh, whatever is you need. Or you can come up and say, oh, this is going to be an existing contact. And in my case, it is because they fill out a contact us form. And now I'm forwarding them an email with a link that's going to be wired with Infusionsoft's contact ID for that person that it passes along to Appointment Core. Uh, now, the next thing uh, that I've done is I turn off uh, the uh, Appointment Core's confirmation. Uh, they ask you to kind of put in a disclaimer. I do allow it to contact me so I know when someone has scheduled a call. Now what I do is if someone comes up and schedules an appointment I trigger that the follow-up to an SEO inquiry and that's because my contact us is driven by SEO inquiries is set. So this is a trigger tag that kicks off uh, an Infusionsoft campaign that will go over in a minute. I also go in here and um, uh, I allow people to cancel and uh, reschedule. I'm not uh, covering that in this lesson. And then, uh, very important, I ask Appointment Core to set the Appointment Core date and the Appointment Core time into two Infusionsoft custom fields so that then I can use it in my outbound emails to them um, so that they know um, 
so that I can tell them in my confirmation, hey, your meeting is for this day at this time. Uh, I click on this one just because um, I want to tell them when the start time is. I don't need to tell them when the stop time is. Um, these calls are all 30 minutes. So um, I just tell them it's a 30 minute call. So with that, uh, I go here and now I have a chance to be able to preview the calendar. My preference is to show the default as weekly. Uh, these, there's other ways of showing that. You can kind of experiment with that if you like. Um, and so I set it up as, as a weekly. Now this link here then is put into the Infusionsoft email right here so that when they click on that they can go right to the calendar. And as you can see this does pass the contact ID of this contact in my database so that Appointment Core has all the information it would want about them. So this gets sent out and, um, and then we have a wait. Uh, later, I'm going to put uh, a couple of more emails in here with some waits so that if people don't come up and fill in the appointment core form and schedule time with me, uh, I'm going to send one and maybe two follow-ups uh, to encourage them to schedule time if that's something they want to do. Otherwise, uh, I'll just assume it was a, a bogus lead and I won't do anything else except maybe send them blog post uh, emails occasionally. So what we have here is another trigger uh, or another tag and this is trigger follow-up sequence uh, SEO inquiry set. So this tag matches the one that Appointment Core is going to um, set as soon as people set up a time. Uh, then I go out, I wait in this case 85 minutes and I come up and I set an appointment core confirmation email. Um, so um, I want this to look like it really is an admin um, responding to notice from appointment core that a schedule, uh, the call was scheduled. And you know, I, I write this very casually. Hey, I saw that you scheduled time on George's calendar. Uh, you're confirmed for a 30 minute uh, for a 30 minute call. Let me just fix that with him uh, on. Uh, and then there's the date based on that uh, custom field at this other custom field. So there's a time and uh, Eastern time. We want to make sure that uh, if the person's on Pacific Mountain uh, or sometimes we do uh, business in both Europe and Asia that uh, the time change is taken into consideration. And then we tell them that we're going to send them a calendar invitation. Um, now, because they filled out our contact us form, we should have their phone number. So, hey, George can call you at the number you provided us, which is this. Uh, is that the right one? Please confirm. Uh, we can also set up a join me conference, uh, use Skype or Google Hangout. Uh, please let me know your reference. Now, we don't ob automate anything at this point. We could have automated this with a go to meeting, as uh, you can see, that's an extension that's supported by Appointment Core. Uh, but we wanted to make this kind of casual. Um, and if that means that um, you know we have to, my admin has to respond uh, via email to finalize this. Uh, I'm good with that. Uh, we may get uh, a little bit more automated later. Uh, and then finally, on my calendar, uh, an appointment was set. And of course, I, I erased it before. Uh, but if an appointment is set, uh, what you can do then is just add the email of the person who's being invited. And uh, I like to delay that so that um, it looks like someone on our team actually went in and invited them. Uh, and then, um, you know, not only do they have an email confirmation, but they'll get that uh, message uh, that uh, they can put on their calendar. And that supports both Google calendars as well as uh, an Outlook calendar. So with that, we have a pretty uh, good overview of an appointment core Infusionsoft um, scenario. Uh, that you can put together for uh, your purposes. Hope that helps.